Shalom, law sheep, or salam, or how you doing, peace, whatever you, whatever you subscribe to, um, Otep, whatever you subscribe to. But um, I'm making this video for a purpose here. I'm trying to clear up a few things, a uh, few misunderstandings about me, particularly in my, I guess you want to call it ideology or doctrine. All right. So let me clear a few things up. And the reason why I want to clear this up is because I'm getting asked too many questions at once. And I want to answer everybody's question at, at, at you know, I want to answer everybody's question as possible, as, as best as possible. Um, uh, make a long story short. Um, so if you have any questions, please post at the bottom and then I'll get to them in my next video. All right. Uh, second, let us clarify what I am. All right. I am an Israelite or some people would say Hebrew Israelite, but Hebrew is the language, one of, one of the many languages my people spoke and speak today. Um, shit, we're scattered amongst the four winds. We speak every language, but that's here nor there. Um, uh, Israelite is a man, not Israel the landmass, but Israel is a man. Israel is a man, a.k.a. Jacob, whether you believe he's fantasy or fake. I'm just going to break down what I believe. Uh, Israel is a man named Jacob. I mean, Jacob also. Uh, Israel means wrestle with an angel um, or God. However you want to choose the translation. But uh, I'm from Israel. Okay. Uh, and one of his sons, one of his 12 sons, which is Judah. Um Trace my lineage back that far. Uh, my, yes, my parents came here on slave ships, 1817. Got all the information to show that. Actually, I posted on my page if you want to go back down my wall. Um, but, uh, yeah, all right. I worship. I'm not down with uh, ISUPK, AOC, Hebrew Warriors, you name it. I'm not down with none of them. I'm down with the G-O-C-C. Which is, which is the gathering of Christ and churches. Um, we believe in a higher Ash, a higher Baha Shem Yeshah, Wall One will walk, which is the Most High. I am that I am in English, or Yeshaya, or uh, another word in English is Savior, not Jesus Christ, not what you call it, Messiah, all right? The Messiah, Yeshaya. Um, Yeshaya means my savior. Yesha is just his, 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 his actual name. His name is in Hebrew. That's his name in Hebrew, not in English, not in what you call it, not in what you call it, not in Islamic or Arabian, not no other language. Hebrew is Yesha, okay? Or Yeshaya for if you're speaking in um, his name for yourself my savior um second second question i be getting asked a lot so far is to prove that abraham joseph and all this other stuff is real well guys give me the body of genghis khan give me the body of uh julius caesar oh yes he had a kingdom shit give me the body of emotet give me the body of uh, Ramses. I mean, you think you got a body of Ramses. You got a mummy, but you ain't got no body. You ain't got the actual thing. Yeah, you got King Tut. Okay, he survived. And a couple other guys that survived. Um, or the body survived. But there's mummies that been over here in America that date older than Egypt. So, uh, like, what is you guys saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, we have writings that order that, that that are said there are order than Egypt. Now, whether you believe it or not, that's on you. You got the Babylonian, Sumerian texts uh, of the Anunnaki, and so on and so forth. And those clay cylinders predate you guys a thousand years. Then you got older pyramids in Egypt. You got the Mesopotamian pyramids. You got uh, the Babylonian pyramids, so on and so forth. You have culture. Shit, the Mayan calendar says it started August 11, 2000. I mean, uh, 3,114 BC. So, you know, 
what you say is relevant. There's always an uh, opposite to what you think is truth. There's always an opposite. I can give you plenty of counter counter arguments to many different things. You know, King James being black or white, homosexual or straight, Jesus being Yesha or Most High being Ahawasha or whatever. Ah, uh, 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 Yahweh, uh, Jehovah. Yahweh, first of all, means I will be, which is no. God says I am that I am. The only person that will be or wants to rise or 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 be like the Most High is devil, Satan, whatever you want to call them. Now, you guys always say, oh, you have a lot of Egyptian influences and blah, blah, blah. Nigga, why wouldn't we? We, we dealt with Egypt so much, it's ridiculous. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth from 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 Jerusalem to Egypt, from from Jerusalem to Syria. We got influences from everywhere. Now, we have an account. Our account is the Bible, all right, or the compilations of the Bible. Not only is the Bible uh, full of proverbs, full of uh, teachings or lessons or whatever you want to say, it's full of chronological history in a chronological order based on the adventures and uh, doings of a certain family of people, okay? Um, it's like... There's every black person in the world, and uh, I'm going to use American names because that's what we know by speaking a tongue in which they understand, all right? That's like the Coleman's going and the Johnson's, all right? The Coleman's live in New York City, and the Johnson's live in Syracuse, but they travel back and forth whenever they had trouble. Um, um, and then uh, they both have their own identity or try to establish their own identity and try to... Uh, uh, you know, establish their own culture, community, gods, everything, you name it. Um, it's kind of like the same thing what quote unquote America did to Britain when they came over here. Um, you know, religious practices they want to do and all this other stuff, start their own economy and culture. So this is not unheard of. You know, America is a fairly young country. Um, but is it not a nation or a country or are we not called Americans? Are you not? been in America since so long so you know or do we are we Americans or is anybody an American for that matter other than the natives um, that came over here on boats uh, as far as not just slavery but you know uh, like I said the Mayflower and all those other fucking boats um, that came over here with a bunch of people so I, I believe so I believe you know you guys is banging on Israel <sighs> saying we're we, we, we um we're not existing in history when there's plenty of examples throughout history that Israel was a state, Hezekiah is a Hebrew word and did try to fight for the uh uh did fight against the Libyans to help protect the king of uh I mean the uh Temple of Solomon with uh your boy your your, your Ethiopian pharaoh who was from Ethiopia, Tahaka, who's not actually from Mizrahim or what you call it, but y'all gonna lay claim to the Nile Valley even when the Egyptians tried to erase Tahaka from the histories. But nobody really wants to talk about that, okay? Um, the second of all is you great Egyptian pharaohs, why not do kingship? Why hold an Egyptian or I mean, or, or what they call a shepherd cane and a whip? And your things and wear the fake beards like the quote unquote Israelites do. Leave leave our shit alone. Stop copying that. Now, oh, we got we may have got that from y'all, but you guys weren't known as sheep or goat herders. You guys were known as kings and queens and, and, and having plenty of gold in your land and so on and so forth. We Israel was known as shepherds, man. So um just to clear that up. Uh, I will go into more detail and research about this later. Um, 
Now, everybody, some of our old white influence, white influence, listen, we have been conquered, all right? When you get conquered, your history changes based on the people that conquer you. This is an evident fact in every single country you dealt with that has been conquered. Look at the Egyptians. The Egyptians ain't even Egyptian anymore. They Ottoman Turks. Um, they pushed the real Egyptians down south um, to the Nile, to deeper into the Nile region. I mean, shit, fucking Greece wasn't didn't become white Greece until Philip of uh, Macedonia. You had uh, 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 an Alexander the Great. You had the Hellenistic uh, Grecians or the um, ancient Achia uh, uh, were all black, were Hellenistic. They spoke and they spoke a Jewish dialect. That's where you get the Septuagint from. It's a translation of the Hebrew Bible into Greek. But nobody wants to deal with these things. You know what I'm saying? Um, so to make another story to, and make another claim, I believe in Ahaya Asha Ahaya. That is, I am that I am, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. This shall be my name and my memorial forever unto all generations. Uh, Exodus chapter three, verse thirteen through fifteen. Okay. So what I'm trying to tell you is, we don't believe in Yahweh, which is I will be, or Yehuda, or well, Yahuda is kind of like Judah, but yeah, let's set that aside. Uh, 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 YHWH, the Tetragrammaton, uh, uh, Baal, uh, 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 Jehovah, which means God of mischief, all the breakdowns, you know, it, it, it's none of that, man. Satan Satan has, has corrupted our knowledge and our thinking in so many different ways where we're going to be struggling back and forth to and fro on who we are. And the Bible speaks about that. I'm going to show that in my next video. We're going to be pulled to and fro. We don't know where we're going to go. We don't have an identity. And then here's another thing, brother. What is your purpose with your information? All right. What is your purpose with your information? Are you using it to just battle other blacks to try to, to, to still oppress us? Or are you trying to use it to build your community up? Now, Knowledge is power, right? Or wisdom and understanding is power. Knowledge is actually a synonym of evil, and I'll show you that breakdown in another in another video. But um, what is your what is your power? Are you trying to uplift the people, or are you trying to create controversy? You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, uh, to me, I let God be the judge. I say what I feel and understand what I say, but I do not harbor any emotion towards it because. I know you're destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Now, who's to say my information is right? And who's to say your information is right? You know, I can pull up a bunch of black scholars that say my information is right. I can pull up a bunch of white scholars that say my information is right. And I'm pretty sure you can do the same. Um, here's the thing. If 10 people witness a car accident, right? 10 people. You're going to get 10 different stories. All right? But you're all going to have one commonality. A fucking car accident happened. So this is simple thinking here, folks. You know what I'm saying? You're every single race and religion, except for Islam, Judaism, and Christianity, which are all derivatives of, of the biblical text, not the biblical text. Now, mind you, they don't use the biblical text. The Muslims use the Sunnah. Um, the Christians use the Christian Judeo doctrine. And the Jews use the Talmud or Oral Torah or the Babylonian Talmud or something else. They don't actually deal with the scriptures. Shit, the Muslims deal with the Sunnah more than they deal with the Quran. Because if they read the Quran, they would know to deal with the Bible. And I've read both. Actually, I've read the Septuagint. I've read the Quran. I've read multiple times. I've read the Quran. And I've read the Bible in its entirety. King James 1611, New Arise Version. Uh, uh, um, annotated with Apocrypha. Uh, I have the book of Enoch, I have the book of Jashers, I have the book of Jubilees, I have uh, the book of Barnabas, the book of Thomas, all these these texts, I have the Dead Sea Scrolls, um, shit, I even read some books about the clay cylinders of the Anunnaki, you know, but I'm going to show all this in my next video, I just want to clear a few things up, I don't adore white people or hate white, uh, 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 I don't hate white people, or Esau, you know, most high judgment is reserved for them. Um, and what I mean by white people is I don't mean the regular normal white person because there's plenty of great white people. White people have helped us through the Underground Railroad. Cornelius is a great white person. Shit, Job is a white person. He was the king of Edom. 
So, you know, there are righteous white people, but I mean the people that work with Satan to help destroy my people um, as the devil, man, they, uh, the powers that be, the, the government, Illuminati, Freemasons, Knights Templar, uh, 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 com uh, 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 shit, all those other fucking uh, secret societies or elite crackers, you know, the Federal Reserve, you know, them... them them people, you know, them, them, them is the people that's going to feel the most high's wrath, the people that's really want, going to make war against him, you know. Now, see, what people have to understand, you know, uh, uh, there's a war outside, man. And uh, as long as you have black in your blood, whether it's hemetic or Semitic, because Canaan was cursed as well as Israel. You know, um, yo ass is going down. You know, um, every single uprise we have, we had, has been broken down by Esau because we don't have the backing of the Most High, which I can show you that through Scripture as well, which is one of the curses. We shall go in front of our enemies and flee seven ways. So, you know, I mean, we, you look at the Black Panther movement, you look at the Nation of Islam, you look at shit, the Hebrew Israelite movement, you look at a lot of commanding movements. So if we uprise and we take real arms up against these white people, they're going to send them armies and them tanks and all that other shit on us, you know, because they don't hesitate to do that. Look at Detroit, look at Watts, look at all those other places, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, to make a long story short, brothers and sisters, man, I got much love for you, man. And uh, it really doesn't matter to me personally what you know. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure you write with God before you do anything. Because that, and I don't mean God is just a title. That's not the name of my God. God is just a general term for a great deity or or, or a supreme deity or whatever. Uh, shit, you, according to the Bible, is a God. You know, so let's, let's. Understanding translation. My God, like I said, is a higher Asha Ahaya. His first spirit that he created was Yesha and the Holy Spirit, which is Bawa, is all is what I learned, was what I know. You know what I'm saying? It's not a trinity. It's a figurehead, like a family. Shoot, you know, you have your husband, you have your wife, and you have your children. It's like that. As it be on earth as it is in heaven. That's the most lame way I can explain it right now without showing you the research. But uh, to make to make a long story short, um, I love y'all guys, man. And uh, throwing up the Baphomet because it's, it's supposed to be the universal sign of peace, but we all know it's not. But peace, love, or shalom, or 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 um, uh, salam, or whatever you describe it to. See you next video.